Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just getting ready to go to the grocery store because we're throwing a Super Bowl party tomorrow with just for just a, like a few people. So I thought I would just hop on quick and film my Super Bowl makeup. <laughs> Basically, and what I've been thinking about while I was getting ready was like meat sweats. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> really fresh, glowy, dewy, not like a lot of makeup because I'm gonna be wearing sweats. So yeah, that's what we're going for, the meat sweat look. If you wanna find out how to get that look, just keep watching. I always forget to wet this stupid thing. Of course, I need to always start out with um, an under eye corrector of some sort. This is the one that I've been using. I think somebody said that they reformulated the one that I used to use into this and that it wasn't as good, but I don't know. It feels kind of the same to me, so. And it just started snowing too and I just, oops. I just really don't feel like getting groceries in the cold and the snow, but I'm gonna do it. Cover this little guy too. Can you guys see my eyebrows? Like, let's just take a moment and look at, look at this. Like, what's happening here? Why don't they just grow the way they're, why do they grow straight down? I've been trying to grow them. I've been growing them out for a long time, so, I mean, they look bad, let's just face it. But once my makeup's on and stuff, they're, Whatever. My NARS foundation. Just a light layer as I pump out four pumps. <laughs> Who are you guys going for? Who do you want to win in the Super Bowl? I do not care at all. <laughs> I'm just in it for the food. That's about it. I forgot to put my nose ring in. See a big open hole. That's what that is. Do you like this angle better? I have it more like in front of me. I don't know, maybe I'm zoomed in too far, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. If you watch my last tutorial, then you'll know you have to. The importance of blending down your neck, <laughs> according to my husband. <laughs> then I'll take my shark, shark? <laughs> Tart shaped tape. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Put that under my eyes. See, I didn't even want that much, but. There's really no controlling this thing with this giant applicator. It does what it wants. And this combination of um, foundation and concealer, they last for a very long time and I feel like it doesn't look heavy. Like, I almost feel like this, it barely even looks like I'm wearing makeup, which is awesome. And then I'm just setting with my Laura Mercier powder. As usual, it's just one step that I cannot skip ever. <laughs> okay, so for highlighter, I'm using the Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops. This is in the color Moonlight, and this is just like the teeniest, tiniest little sample guy. So, I mean, really, I got this sample for free, and this will last me forever. So, if you can find this as a sample, I would definitely recommend getting it. And just a few drops right there. That was probably too many. We could have mixed this in with our foundation too. Are you seeing this glow? It's so good. I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges with my beauty blender, which is not a, really a beauty blender, it's fake. It's a knockoff and it's not that good. I need to go back to the beauty blender. You can see it better from this side, I think. There's other shades of this too. Um, this is the only kind I've tried though, the only color. They have uh, glitter drops now, so you know I'm all about that. I haven't tried it though. Like, I don't know how much they are, but I'm guessing they're probably around 30 bucks, and I'm not paying $30 for a thing of glitter that's like this big that you'll probably use twice a year. And Honestly, I wish that they would just make these kind of containers smaller and charge less because you'll never, like, you'll never go through all that. You just won't. Can't forget about this upper lip meat sweat area. Just like glowing everywhere. I usually set my whole face with powder, but I'm not gonna do that today. And I think I'll take a little bit of this same stuff in my inner corners too. That's some intense stuff, right? And then I just run the excess um, 
under my brow bone. Okay, I'm going back to my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer and I'm gonna use it like on a bigger, fluffier brush. Honestly, with how dark this foundation is, I could probably skip this step, but that would just be not natural. And for blush, I'm using the Tarte, um, the Tarte blush in the color Pop and focusing that on the apples of my cheeks. So the reason I did that highlighter, usually I do highlight last, but I did it first because I'm not sure how good it would layer over all this powder. But don't worry, because I'm gonna go in with the powder highlighter too, so. This has like no color payoff. It looks like the same color as what's in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Well, I guess in the light it doesn't, it looks lighter, but in person it looks like the same color. But swatched, this is like the world's worst swatch. Look how much lighter it is. This is the Jaclyn Hill one. Um, this one from the Becca collab. And it's way more pigmented. Oof, done. Now I'm going. Ooh. I took this like blush topper just to brighten it up and then went a little bit over top. I'm just taking my beauty blender with nothing on it and just like going over it. That seems to help whenever you have that problem. <laughs> So for highlight, I gotta go back to my trusty Anastasia Glow Kit. And let's see, should we try something different? I think I'm gonna try this gumdrop. It, it has like actual glitter in it, like iridescent glitter, but I'm kinda, I kinda like th that look. I'm not mad at it. Ooh, it's bright. You see in that? It has like a pink reflect to it. It's pretty. It's a lot though, so be warned. It actually would be a pretty eyeshadow too. I maybe shouldn't have done that because it's so pink, but it looks good like on the cheeks, but I don't know if I would do that on your nose. <laughs> Cause now it just kind of looks like I have a pink nose. I told you it were gonna be glowy. For eyes, I am going in with my Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint. I don't know. It's in the color I-42. And you could totally just use this on your finger. I don't really like, I don't really like doing that. I feel like I can't get into the like little nooks and crannies of my eyelids, so I'm just gonna put it on a brush and run it over my whole lid. And then I'm just blending it up a little bit too. And then once that's like getting dry, I do another coat of it. And then concentrate that more on the lid. Like don't shear it out so much. They have a ton of colors of these, so it's good for a really quick look, you know? You could just blend them out good to go and they don't budge which is nice I'm gonna put my brows on and I'll be right back okay the brows are on they're looking very <laughs> they're really there so I think um for the lids I'm just gonna go back to the color we highlighted with the gumdrop color um just a little bit on my ring finger and dab that in the center because I'm really liking that iridescence that it's putting off Okay, for my lips, I'm taking, it's the Balm Meat Matte Hues in the color Doting. I had gotten a set of these a while ago and they last forever because you don't, I mean, there's so many and you don't use that many. And I really, I really like the Balm's liquid lipstick formula. I feel like nobody talks about it and it's really good. It's honestly one of my favorites. Um, I haven't tried any other darker colors though, I guess. I've tried a red but I mostly stick to their nudes and I'm not even using a lip liner, I'm just going in. I have a uh, chapstick on my lips too. If you watch my favorites video, then you know what chapstick I'm wearing. This color wears really well too, so when you start eating and stuff, you'll be okay. Then all that's left is mascara. So I take my L'Oreal Telesco Telescopic Carbon Black as my first layer. 
So yeah, is anyone else hosting a Super Bowl party? We, I don't know, we have never hosted a Super Bowl party before. It's, well, we're not having very many people, so it'll be pretty laid back, but we're having a taco bar. And I'm going to try to do spinach and artichoke dip in the crock pot because that's like literally one of my favorite foods ever in the whole world. From Applebee's, it's the best. I mean, I know mine won't turn out as good, but but I'm going to a small town grocery store and I bet they won't even have artichokes. So that might not be happening. And then we have people bringing like other dips and stuff. So it'll be good. Oh, and we're doing homemade ice cream too, I think. We should make that tonight actually. We got an ice cream maker when we got married and we have been trying to find a good homemade ice cream recipe forever. I mean, we've tried a couple and they taste just like a stick of butter. They're so gross. Now this winter we finally found, we found the keeper, you guys. It's so good, it's so good. It's the best. So when my top lashes are drying, then I take my Cover Girl Clump Crusher Water Resistant and do my bottom lashes. I do another coat of this on my upper lashes too, but I like them to be a little bit on the drier side before I do it. And I always start on the tops. I do the tops of them too. I usually cut this out of videos because I feel like it's so boring, but maybe people want to know. And another coat on the bottom. <laughs> this is why I don't show it in videos because it literally takes forever. But when you do a simple eye look, you gotta have good lashes. You guys know I never do false lashes. I don't like the way they feel. I have yet to find a comfortable pair that work for my eyes. And that's it. That is my Super Bowl makeup tutorial. <laughs> do you like the glow? This would also be a really good, like, low-key Valentine's Day look, too, with all the pink and stuff. I think it's pretty. Anyway. Leave a comment down below letting me know what else you would like to see. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a happy Sunday. Bye, guys. Did I have, did I have makeup on my teeth that whole time? <laughs>